G'day. After leaving Monkey Mire, it was down to Calbarry. The moment I got into Calbarry, all of the environment and the countryside changed dramatically. It was almost as if the uh, local council had spent a massive amount of money putting these beautiful dried flowers on the side of the road. Awesome. I'd like to have spent longer there. Then from there it was to Coronation Beach, and which was ideal for those people who enjoy windy places, which is WA at the moment, this time of the year. Lots of kite surfing and windsurfing. That was awesome. And from there, it was down to Dongara. Spent Christmas there. From Dongara, went down to uh, Milligan Beach. That's Milligan, not Gilligan Beach. And, uh, sorry, Milligan Island, not Gilligan Island. Spent uh, New Year's Eve at Gilli... <laughs> spent, spent New Year's Eve at Milligan Island. And that was awesome. From there, ended up down at a place called Yanchep, which is just out of Perth. Great place to stay, it's right in the National Park. You're all amongst koalas and kangaroos, and really reasonable prices. And from there you can scoot into uh, Perth and get whatever you need to get done. So, let's go. It was now Christmas Day, and this is in Dongara. We're actually driving down onto the beach. Amazingly enough, uh, we weren't the only people who had that great idea. When we got down the beach, it was great fun driving on the beach, and also when we got there, the water was so crystal clear. Unbelievable. It's just so good. had been warned to watch out once it comes school holidays and this is what they were talking about. And now 
now back driving on the beach which is fantastic this is Milligan Island just on New Year's Eve and again everyone else had the same idea that it was a lot of fun driving on the beach deep sand I'm off on a guided tour. Well, I'm actually taking my car because they're fully booked. But it's a tour on this guy's property, which is called Nambung Station. And uh, we'll be specializing in the uh, pinnacles, his own personal pinnacles on the station. So that should be uh, quite exciting. The pinnacle desert there, the middle desert, and this is the painted desert. You notice how the painted desert goes into the, into the property? Yeah. Well, they resurveyed it so that they, the original owner gave gave the property that part of the property back to the government so they could create the Nambung National Park. Another random tip: you see how all of the caravans have just done a pan. All of the caravans, almost all facing in the same angle of the dangle. Now the reason they're doing that, so I've learned just today, six months on the road, I found out the reason that's happening is because the awning comes out this side and that's going to give you the greater amount of shade during the day. So as the sun comes up, you're going to get shade most of the day. That's why most of them are all on the same angle of the dangle. Good morning. <laughs> it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I've been doing other things. I haven't been lazy. I'm staying in a really nice little national park about an hour out of Perth. It's called Yan Chep National Park. And it really cost almost nothing to stay here. They've got flushing toilets, beautiful toilets, and a shower ablution block. <laughs> nice hot water. Hopefully here you can see over my shoulder a uh, kangaroo. <laughs> Oh, you have to take my word, there is a kangaroo and a joey behind it. The joey, the kangaroo keeps moving and blocking the uh, video of the joey. Anyhow, it's well worth coming here because you can stay up to a week and it gives you the opportunity, as I said, you're about an hour out of Perth, Perth, but there's lots of shopping centres this side of it as well, so about half an hour, a place called uh, Gender Loop or something. <laughs> as always, I'll put the name down the bottom. Always move now. Yeah, you see a beautiful little Joey and, uh, and its mother. Apparently koalas can live up to 15 years and uh, when fully grown they're about three and a half kilograms. So it's a fair old size to be climbing around the trees. Hope you enjoyed this video driving from Monkey Mire all the way down to Perth. You may notice I didn't refer much to accommodation in Perth because I decided to stay in Yanchep and Yanchep is a whole lot cheaper than staying in Perth but you can get into Perth Central by bus, by train or day trip in your own car. The other thing is the time, how long it took is a little bit obscure for the calculations because I spent all of Christmas in Dongara and all of New Year's Eve in Milligan Island. And thank you very much for the friends who helped me have a great Christmas and a great New Year's Eve. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was good enough, I'd love it to be shared. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Until then, this is Paul Wheel Drive signing off.